I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere... Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! You there! Unless you want to be a victim of the old Driscoll gang and get away from this camp! Interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. You got Please. nothing better to do? I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Oh! That must be the place. 
base up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. money, mister. <clears throat> oh, oh. Well, somehow I don't believe you. <sighs> Where is it? Under my bed. Get on, dear boy. Think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? So I, too, go west. And soon, I fall into some terrible trouble with some really bad men I meet. They force me to marry a woman so they could steal all my money. But then Dutch finds me. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. Our can is full, let's pipe it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <gasps> I'll stick to a moderate diet. I'll drink, but I'll deny it. Come, have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs>
Yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes. Mister, please. Thank you. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. He was this man as every man knows. Place is a dog. Wish you please. But you made me sad, honey. I'll kill whiskey. I ain't afraid. Uh, howdy, right here. You come far today? Sure looks like it. Here, get that down you. Give me, it's all I can afford. I've got something you won't like. I might be misrepresented. <laughs> I'm burning all my luck here. Oh, I shan't be deterred. Yes, come on. I guess I'm about done. Of course, keep them coming. Do you want to have some fun? Nope. <laughs> Greetings. What can I do for you? from the seeker sir run and keep running or help others to run oh. you okay oh. boy? you got bad news all over you move it okay okay keep your hair off this here's proud assistance gathering herbs for my studies. You there. Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? 
None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now, set it off. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm, same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? Okay, I got it. And I guess they'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Good luck. <laughs> I need a doctor. Please. I'll get you help. Just do stay alive. Okay. That's no okay. Don't you give up now? My arm. I can't clear it anymore. All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Right here. You can sit him down in this chair. <coughs> what happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Nice of you to stay, but don't fret. He'll make it. Where is Tom? It's too bad. Uh, it really is. 
what can I do for you? Nothing. The love of all that is holy. Yeah, I'm hoping she'll leave soon. What does a dried up old hag have to do to get drunk around here? What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with. Hmm. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. All boring. Not an interesting mind or a I heard nasty they're working on a building on in New luck. York over ten. Get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Thank you, sir. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. Is something wrong? Do you see something? Ugh, I'm done with this. Find your own damn way. What? No, you horrible man! There we go. Over. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You might want to step back a bit. <coughs> Let's get out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. 